Hi friends, hi everybody. It's been a while since I've last posted, but I really had to reach out to you guys. I was like, I cannot not post for this week. Um, yeah, as you can see, I'm in my car and yeah, Whole Foods Market, everything over there. I live in New York. Yes, big up New York, woot woot. And I know we New Yorkers have a way to be blunt um, when we speak and be very, I guess transparent or some would say transparent it's just what it is like but we say I'm just keeping a hundred I'm just keeping it real or whatever phrase along those lines you know the colloquialisms that we use now but I want to ask you this is a question to you my friends what does it mean to keep it real does it mean <laughs> all right yeah I'm in my car so yes what's this guy does it mean that you could be mean that it's okay to be nasty to people like what does keeping it real really mean? Does it mean you can say whatever you want without regard for that person's feelings, without concern of how that person will interpret it, without regard of the damage it might cause for the relationship? Now, I believe in speaking the truth in love as the Bible says. And I also believe that a harmful truth I do believe that. But I also believe that your words should be seasoned with grace, not peppered with bitterness and nastiness, you know? Can we as a people, as the millennial or the new generation, whatever you want to call us, the up and comers, the future of this world can we come together and decide to like be nice again like let's make america nice again how about that no but seriously you guys what does it mean to be real can you drop me a comment what does it mean to be real drop me a note let me know your perspective on that because i hear people say i'm just keeping it real no you're keeping it rude like there's nothing wrong with a little bit of assertiveness. I, I firmly believe that, especially in the workplace, you can kind of get um, bypassed or overlooked sometimes if you're not assertive, but there's a way to go about it. I believe in tact. I believe in wisdom and, and using words wisely and properly. So for example, if someone asks you, does this, does this make me look fat? What's your response? <laughs> All right, let's say I'm going shopping with a friend and she asks how does the item look? She may love it. Maybe she loves that item, but she's asking me, you know, as friends do, you know, we go to the fitting room, try on outfits. Hey girl, how do I look? Maybe it's the cut. Maybe I say, wow, the pattern's really nice, but that cut doesn't show off your best features. There's nothing wrong with saying that. I feel like that's a nice tactful way to say this is not bringing your body out or showing your body the way you'd want it to be. Maybe it's pointing out the wrong curves <laughs> or you know the curves that we don't want to be seen. There are things about the outfit that I with an outsider's view will tell her honestly but sweetly or kindly um, let's try the other outfit and there's nothing wrong with that you guys like be real with your friends be honest be open be real with strangers but let us be nice let us love. Let us show love. What is showing love if we're not showing niceness or kindness? I mean, I don't know. I feel like people are just taking this keeping it 100, keeping it real to a whole other extreme. Like, you are being mean, friends. You're not being nice. Let us be nice. Because Jesus is nice. <laughs> I remember that song by Lester Lewis. Jesus is so nice. Whether you call him Jesus, whether you call him Yeshua, he wants for you to be nice. I mean, there's nowhere you're gonna see where he'll say, it's okay to be mean. My fro be, listen, after a long day of running errands, I don't wanna hear none of y'all talk about my fro, okay? Not a one. But um, yeah, I think often, sorry, I'm like all over the place. But a lot of times our, uh, our, feeling as well I want to be honest with her and I want to tell her how I really feel about X Y and Z 
by all means, be honest. You can be honest with your friends, but be tactful, brethren. Please, saints, just be tactful. Be understand your if that's your friend, you should know how your friend receives information and how your friend will um, interpret interpret what you're saying. So if there's something, maybe a block, maybe um, a fence that your friend has up around her heart regarding certain a certain matter, use tact and wisdom. But be honest. So if you know she's been cheated on before and you saw her boyfriend at the movies with someone else and in a, in, in a very indiscreet manner, I mean, up to you. If you feel like you should stay out of it, stay out of it. But if you feel led to tell your friend what you witnessed and you know she's been cheated on before, you're going to have to come at her a different type of way. You can't just burn out like, girl, I saw it at the movie theater with some other... No, you can't come at her like that because you know... <laughs> That's not going to go over well. So understand who your friends are. If you know your friend has confidence issues and she tried her best to put on her makeup, but it, to you it may appear like she overdid the smoky eye too much, kind of got a raccoon thing going on, you may want to be careful how you tell her. So I'm all for keeping it real, but let us remember in that while we're trying to be honest with our friends and be the best friends that we can be and be true honest citizens let us remember that if that person is dealing or struggling with something that especially if we're aware of it let us be mindful to consider how they may interpret and how they may receive the information we've given them so if your friend asks you with all the smoky eye all around her eye eyelid under eye every which you wear and she asks you, hey girl, how do you like my look? You can let her know. Whatever you feel like to let her know, but you can let her know. It's a little bit um, dramatic. It looks, you know, like I would legit say like it looks a little bit dramatic for me. I do believe that we need to be mindful of our friends' feelings as well as um, bettering the relationships. about honest friendships and open friendships that's great but no friendship is without a quarrel or without an argument or without um, a disagreement I mean you are two different people so you're not going to be the same person no matter how much you like the same TV shows or whatever you're not gonna be the same person so you will have disagreements and that is okay that is a healthy part of a relationship so if you're in a disagreement with a friend and she's keeping it real, you can keep it real too. But what the Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians 13 about love. So let's remember these things. You can fight fair. I do believe in fighting fair. And you can fight fair. Okay, friends. I'm out here in these streets. Have a wonderful, wonderful day wherever you are in the world, and please leave me a comment below. What do you think about that phrase, keeping it real? What do you, like, or how, or even tell me, how do you keep it real? I would love to hear from you guys. I really do, I really appreciate every comment. I appreciate all of my subscribers, and I really love you guys, and I'm praying for each and every one of you. Have a wonderful, beautiful day. Bye.